Welcome to another Spark AR tutorial video. In this video we'll be looking at sound, uh, more explicitly the use of the microphone and voice distortion effects. This is a super easy thing to do uh, but there's a lot of potential for it. So I'm just going to show you how to set up your project and then we'll have a look at some of the various effects that you can create just by default and uh, how they were generated. So first thing you're going to always want to do is you want to make sure you have a speaker in your scene because without this uh, speaker in your scene the audio won't play back and down here you can see that you have some settings for uh, non microphone external and we also have the, the useful little arrow next to it which means we can obviously hook it into our patch editor super simply so I'm just going to open up our patch editor I'm going to drag our microphone into our patch editor window so this means we can now take the microphone input and as long as our microphone is not disabled, this will work. We can click and drag from our microphone into our space. And if we look under audio, you'll notice that you have a variety of options. And we'll go through some of these uh, and see what, what they sound like uh, towards the end. But for now, I will just pick, I'll just pick this one just to kick things off, just to show you the basics of setup. And then to pick my speaker, choose my arrow next to audio and I can now simply hook this up like so. So now what will happen is when we uh, start recording our screen because we won't be able to hear back the sound in real time once we start doing a screen recording the microphone will kick in it will compress our audio to uh, adjust to these values here and again we can also hook in um, other things into here so we could say over, as one time goes on the sample weight value increases or decreases uh, also, you can, um, with a bit more JavaScript savviness, you could link this into your slider or native UI and have this adjusted by that. This is what the audio sounds like when you use the Bit Crusher patch. This is what the audio sounds like when you use the modulator effect patch. This is what audio sounds like when you use the distortion patch. This is what audio sounds like when using the audio delay patch. This is what the reverb audio patch sounds like. This is what audio sounds like when you have a positive pitch shift value. This is what audio sounds like when having a negative pitch shift value. And you can always combine these sound effects together to create unique voice effects. Hopefully this will be useful to some of you peoples. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.